This is the level 102 target for instant map repair. Hey everyone, Derpy here, welcome back to another Battle Pirates video. As we get started, I'm going to go over the turret types extremely briefly here in the 102 target, which is a little easier than the 103. First of all, we have the directional turrets, which are the big ones, and those ones you need to stay out of at all possible. If you get in them, they're accuracy based and they do some damage. Next up, we have these golden ones, which are splash damage and dump fires. So you can outrun them. They're ballistic. We also do have a few other things, such as these radioactive accuracy-based launchers, and a few other things on the mega, two short-range and two medium-range turrets right there. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started here and run through the 102. The lowest repair time I have gotten is 58 seconds. Now, of course, I will show you my build at the end, and yes, I am all X1, but the same path is applicable if you're X1 versus U0. Now, you just saw a bunch of mortars fly up in the air there. What you're noticing there is that those mortars do zero damage, they have nothing to do with damage. They're all for combat speed, and the build, the specialty build, it's an Apex Predator style build on my fifth ship there, the tank ship. Anyway, that has a slightly higher combat speed and a massively higher evade, which means it runs slightly out ahead of everything else and takes all the damage from the accuracy-based turrets and has the amazing evade. For this target, let's go ahead and get started with the driving. Moving up here towards this first turret, head off to the left of it so you can grab that turret without going in the directional arc and keep moving. Stay moving at all times in this target unless you're sure you're not being shot at by something because a lot of these golden turrets here you can get damaged if you do stop. So just again, stay moving against this guy and you'll do perfectly fine. Against this one right here, ship number 5 should be slightly out ahead, which it is, which means all that radioactive damage went towards ship number 5, not towards any of the other ships. It also turns out that ship number 5 has massive evade bonuses, so it really shouldn't take much damage at all, if any. Stay moving here against this next turret and group up towards these few things. You're fine to stop right here and shoot at all these buildings as long as it takes to kill them. I don't want to have to double back. At this point, if you look in the bottom right, you can see no damage on 1, none on 2, 3, 4, and really, maybe even nothing on 5, and the target is 75% complete. Let's stay moving here and grab the golden turret, stay moving, and again these other two turrets as well, with ship number 5 being slightly ahead for the radioactive turret you need to tank against. Of course, this method will work if you don't have a tank, in fact it's a little easier to drive if you don't have a tank, which works out great. If you also have a moderate tank that's just replacing one or two specials rather than the entire weapon system, that's going to work out too. The mega ship is the hardest part, but if you retreat right now, you have the full 250k points, which is fantastic, unless they change it. Start moving towards this thing pretty quickly, get in these dead zones, and then immediately pivot off to the ship's right, to the screen's left, and grab these few turrets, and you should be pretty much good. I might have messed up a little bit in taking a tiny bit of ballistic damage from there, but we'll see as we run through the battle report. If not, should still be instant base repair. If you were instant map repair, if you sometimes mess up really, really poorly, it's going to be instant base repair instead, 20 minutes or so instead of the 4 or under, which I'm expecting from this one. So as you can see, a tiny bit of ballistic damage, not going to hit my 58 second personal best number, and some radioactive damage with 71% of the incoming radioactive shots being evaded, roughly speaking, which is a fantastic number. Total damage here is 3 minutes and 31 seconds, which is really, really good. Instant map repair is instant map repair if it's 3 minutes, 5 minutes, or 58 seconds. In terms of the build, the first four ships are really, really standard, and ship number 5 is the only weird one, which has all these speed mortars and everything else on here too, lowered cannon mount 2 and guidance number 3 evade upgrade to make it have really, really high evade. Its combat speed is 135, compared to the others at 132, with an evade number of, let's see, 91, plus the Sea Serpent screw I am running, compared to the other evade number, which is just very low at 56%. Now, all these ships are all X1. Unfortunately, I'm not able to scrap them all, rebuild them at U0. I don't have the coins to do that. But this method will work regardless of what tank build you have, or even if you don't have one, and even what upgrade level you have, the path, the techniques are the exact same. Anyway, instant base repair is pretty good. I want to, of course, thank all the channel members who are supporting the channel. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.